Hey guys, what's going on? It's James Hunt coming at you with another uh, web design tutorial. I haven't really made any videos lately. I've just been pretty busy building websites for clients and, and I'm working on other stuff. But uh, a video that I think would be very helpful is to show you uh, how do you create a subdomain as a, um, a staging server or a staging site for a client. Uh, so just to explain this real quick, if you build websites professionally as a freelancer or for an agency, uh, when you're building a website for a client, you don't want to build it on their actual domain setting it up. Um, because, you know, they might have an existing website and you don't want to take it down. You don't want one of those under, uh, under construction, you know, pages up. You want to build it kind of um, in an area where nobody else can see it. And then once it's completed, you upload it to their actual URL. So I use subdomains for this. You know, you can build these offline. However, I recommend using a subdomain. That way um, you can share it with the client and during the revision process, you can show them, you know, changes that you're making or whatever. And then when you're ready to upload it to their URL, you can do that. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Now, um, on the screen right now is an example of a website that's built on a subdomain. As you can see up here, the URL is testsite.brandnewmarketing.net. Now this is a subdomain of the URL brandnewmarketing.net. So if you were to go to brandnewmarketing.net, that will be the main website. Once you create the subdomain, you can build an entire new website on that subdomain that um, you can use to build as a staging server. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to your cPanel, which I've got right here. Um, this is my own personal website, jameswesleyhunt.com. Now, um, go to your cPanel. It really doesn't matter who your hosting's through. Most cPanels are, you know, pretty much the same. This one's for GoDaddy. Um, I generally will use HostGator, but I just so happen to be using uh, GoDaddy for this. So. Uh, if you're using GoDaddy, uh, go down to the domain section right here and click on subdomains. Now, once you get to the uh, create a subdomain page, um, just type in, let's say, um, test website. Or, no, let's just show this as kind of an example. Um, let's just say cleaning service. So let's say you're building a website for a cleaning service. Uh, you just use their name as the subdomain. The main domain it's going to be on is obviously your domain. And then um, just click here. It will create a, uh, a document route for it. And then go ahead and cr click uh, create. So it says that cleaningservice.jameswesleyhunt.com has been created. So we're going to go back. Now what we're going to do is um, go to our address bar and type in that subdomain that we just created. Okay, so as you can see right here, uh, there's nothing there and it says forbidden. Um, but basically this just means that since you just created it, there's literally nothing, nothing on the page. It's just a blank website basically. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to add uh, WordPress on this subdomain so that you can go ahead and start building your staging site. So let's go back to the control panel and we're going to scroll down to uh, web applications. If you're on HostGator, it might be under quick installation or quick install. Uh, but for um, GoDaddy, we're just going to go to WordPress right here. Now you can also install this through uh, FTP or through the file manager, but uh, this is a really easy way to get this installed. So let's just go ahead and click install this application. Under the domain right here, there's going to be a drop down. So as you can see, uh, we've got the, the subdomain listed right here, cleaningservice.jameswesleyhunt.com. And we're going to go ahead and um, remove that directory. Now we can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. Here's a uh, username and password. Obviously, if you're going to be building this as a staging site, go ahead and create your own username and password. But since I'm just showing you, for example, we don't need to do anything there. And then go ahead and click Install. 
So this will just take a second. Uh, I mean, it's just the exact same as installing WordPress on a uh, a regular domain. I mean, for all for all um, basic purposes, I mean, this is like you just created an entire new website, a standalone site, um, except for the fact that it was created on an existing domain just as a subdomain. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while it finishes installing WordPress. Okay, so uh, we successfully installed WordPress on our subdomain. Now what I'm going to do is just go open up that window, um, the um, URL window that we had open a second ago that showed that we um, had that forbidden, you know, there was nothing on this uh, URL. I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this page real quick. Okay, and so you'll see that WordPress has been installed on the subdomain. So uh, now, you know, basically what you can do is you can just log in uh, to this uh, WordPress website just like you would, um, you know, any other WordPress website. And you can build out, um, you can build out this subdomain as a staging site uh, for building websites for clients. Now, what you'll do after you've got this website built out is you'll use the duplicator plugin like I showed you in another video. You'll copy that. Uh, subdomain, um, the archive, and the installer, and then you'll just dump it into the new URL that the client wants for their permanent website. So anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you like this video. Uh, this is very helpful stuff when it comes to freelance web design or, you know, if you're working for an agency or whatever. Uh, it's how I build out all my websites, and it uh, works really well. So anyways, guys, appreciate it. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see made on uh, web design or WordPress or whatever. Thanks.